Hi, Borderline Mom here, checking in. Um, it has been a rough week. I am finally fully moved in. Um, now, I am going to take this time to just basically clarify a few things here, okay? One. I have borderline personality disorder. Okay. Some things that are okay to me may seem a little off or quirky or whatever to you. Okay. I have chemical imbalances and whatnot in my brain. <laughs> okay. Two. I have PCOS. Polycystic ovary syndrome. Okay. So, not only are my brain chemicals out of whack, my body hormones are out of whack as well. I have a nice, lovely cyst that's about the size of my ovary on my one of my ovaries. Okay, so that accounts for, you know, this. I'm sorry if I'm a little disheveled, or I look nasty to some of you. I am me. I am being honest. Okay, I have mental health problems. <laughs> so, um, I have severe PTSD when it comes to my parenting. Um, it is very hard for me personally to get out of the super mom rut. Okay. I buy. I don't want to. But I buy emotionally buy into the hype that a stay-at-home mom should be able to do everything. Okay, my family is on government assistance. Yes, I admit it. My husband has a very good job. He is a... um. He's a kitchen manager, and he has worked his way up to kitchen manager. He started out as nothing more than a part-time cook. He worked up to full-time. Then he slowly started working his way up the chain until he became a kitchen manager so and this is in a matter of you know five years i want to say yeah about five years give or take so me i had a job okay Um, let's see. I lost one job because I didn't have transportation. Uh, when I was pregnant, uh, right after I had Jace, I had a job. Okay. However, I did not have transportation to get to said job. So, you know, I couldn't have it. Lupus, go. That is my grand puppy. My oldest son's dog, Lupus. 
okay? Yes, I am living with my mother, okay? I have high anxiety about that. I feel like literal shit. Because I have to live with my mother. Okay, I am eating what little bit of pride and confidence I have. Because I live with my mother. And no, it is not my fault. It is not my husband's fault. Right now, we are living with my mother until we can find a new place to live. Because our landlord of four years, three or four years, decided, you know what, I don't want to rent this house anymore. I'm going to sell it. Get the fuck out. So... Yeah, that's not our fault, by any means. Um, and it takes more than, you know, 30 days to find a new place to live. And to move and pack and all the other stuff. For the last two weeks, I have gotten, I have been going to bed at 3 and getting up at 6.30. And for me, that's not very good. I have not been able to take my trazodone at night. So that's one of my meds that I have not been able to take for two weeks. Because I haven't been able to get sleep. Because I have been too busy to get sleep. But as I was saying before, I buy into the hype, okay? I am a stay-at-home mom. And my life is taking care of my kids, my husband, and my mother-in-law. Okay? Okay? So, I kind of put myself a little bit lower on the totem pole. I put my needs, you know, down here. I mean, you got my kids' needs up here. You got my husband about right here. You know, my mother-in-law right there beside him. And then you got the house needs right here, you know. And then you got... My needs right down here. That is how my hierarchy works. Because I have bought, emotionally, I have bought into this whole June Cleaver super mom thing. Okay? A stay at home mom is lazy. Bullshit. Come, you know, come come to my work. Come do my job, please. Ta- make sure all the kids are fed, closed. The house is clean. Your husband is picked up after. Because he doesn't... My husband is like another child. Okay? I cook for him. I clean up after him. I... I lay out his clothes. I do the laundry. Uh, Hun, where's my underwear? Hun, where's my work shirt? Do I have any clean shirts? So, I am taking care of a minimum of three, four, you know, about five people before myself. Okay, I've got two teenagers. They they just take care of themselves, period. Yeah. I don't have to worry about them, thankfully. They'll take care of themselves. However, you know, my daughter, I have to make sure she eats. 
now, now that I'm living here, I have to make sure my daughter eats more than just peas, corn, and ramen. But I digress. <laughs> um, no. I try to do everything. I try to have the pristine house. I try to, you know, have all these home-cooked meals. You know, I try not to have to rely on the banquet meals. And even when I do the banquet meals, I still have to make, you know, I still make sides. But I... So, yes, I'm sorry, I don't look right to everybody. Yes, I've got the extra facial hair. It's hormones. Do I have the time? Do I really have the time to shave? I take care of that one. See him? See him? He's so precious. He is 15 months, and he can still fit into some nine-month clothes. He's just now grown into the 12-month clothes. Yes, babies. Okay? I spend a lot of my day taking care of this little man. I love him. He is my baby. Okay, I do on-demand breastfeeding. I have to lay down with him for 15 minutes to get him to take a nap. Otherwise, he won't. What do you want, boo -boo? Oh, you want booby? Okay. Okay. I am just... Okay. Oh, there you go. You go sleepy. You back go back nine nights. All right, and then I see some of you. Yeah. Okay. In one of my videos, I popped him on the head because he was being loud. I'm sorry if that offended you. Okay. I promise. I swear, it didn't hurt him. Okay, it was like a smack on the hand. The only thing that hurt was maybe his feelings. Okay, I do attachment parenting. Mostly. Okay. His, he had, I, let's see. Jace is now six. No, sorry, Dean. Dean is going to be six this month. Jace is now eight. They are a lot rougher with Hunter than that little smack I gave him. Okay? As I said, I'm sorry if it offends you, but it's... He's, that's the easiest way for me to get, that's, that is how I chose to get his attention at that time. Okay, and he's hard-headed. I mean, it didn't hurt. His head is fully, you know, he, the, the little, what, fundus or whatever, fondus. You know, the hole on his head is gone. So, it didn't hurt him. It's not going to do any damage. I am not an abusive person. 
Okay, I am not abusing him. I am not hurting him. Um, EBT, I get $260 a month. Immediately, $60 of that goes to this little guy here. Because I have to make sure he drinks one pediasure a day, minimum. Okay, I have to thicken all of his drinks. I can't just pour it directly in. I have to put in, I have to open and put in two packets of thickener. Put it in his cup, pour the stuff in the cup, mix it, and then give it to him. Okay, I have to work my schedule around this child. I have to make sure that he eats when he is supposed to. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, well, we take him to the feeding. I take him to a feeding clinic. That's probably going to be two, three, four times a month that I have to leave, I have to drive a minimum of 45 minutes to take him to a feeding clinic. And I'm there for a good 30, 45, you know, for a good 30 to minutes to an hour. And then it's another trip home. I still have two old, I still have Dean and Jace that I've got to spend time with. Plus, I try to keep up with my house. I try to keep my house as clean as I can. I try to be that super mom. I try to do it all. So I am sorry if I don't look up to par for you or if I'm, you know, a little rougher than you think I should be with my kids. I love them. And... Even then, that's the feeding clinic still isn't the only visit I do for this little one here. It's okay. Hey. I still have my therapy that I have to go to. That's a minimum of two visits two visits a month for me. You know, um let's see. Plus, there's the pediatrician. Um, Hunter also, I'm working with the toddler connection. That's two visits a month. Oh, you're hungry. Okay. Here. You want to check, check? Check, check. There you go, boo boo. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I am here to show other mothers with mental illness, you know, depression. I've got major depressive disorder. Um, so here it is. I'm trying to do all this and I've got, you know, and I go through days, weeks, where I just, I, it takes all my energy just to crawl out of bed. I have been suicidal because I felt I wasn't a good enough mother. I wasn't a good enough wife. My children would be better off with someone else. So I just need to go kick the bucket. Somebody else can do better than me. Oh, you okay? Ooh. Okay. You okay? Hey, 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 hey. You okay? It's all right. <clears throat> okay. This little child here, 
is on medication already. I have to give him a famotidine twice daily because he has acid reflux. Yeah. I have to use the thickener because he aspirates whenever he drinks. Okay. He is slow in so many ways. Well, he's not he's not talking yet. His cousin is three months younger, at least, and weighs more and is bigger than him. So yeah. And if this offends you, kiss my ass. You can move the video. You can leave the video. You got a pookie. Hi. Okay. And no, so right now I can't really work to help support my family. This is my job right here. My job is in my lap. I have to take care of this baby. If I get a job, it's going to be minimum wage. And guess what? I'm still going to have to pay for child care. I'm going to lose the EBT. We're going to lose medical insurance. For me and all the family. I have pre-existing conditions. My husband has pre-existing conditions. I'm in the process of getting Dean tested for autism. Okay, and I am a mom. I am trying to be honest. Okay, I had a job. You want to know how hard of a worker I am? <laughs> I worked throughout my pregnancy with this one, with Hunter. My boss was constantly yelling at me to take it easy. It's like, you're pregnant. Don't do that. So. But I am... I worked so hard. I nearly worked myself into an early labor. So, I am doing a video. Could use some help. All right, I will be there shortly. I can't. I can't shut the main door to the gate. All right. The pen because I screwed up. Oh, all right. I will be there shortly, honey. But yes. I am sorry if this is a little bit long-winded and ranty, but you know, I figured I'd at least give everybody an update. Oh, so, geez. we're moved in. Yes, I've been checking my um, uh, comments. Um, for those that want to know, I was on Citalopram for several years. I just got switched to Zoloft. Um, pregnancy reasons. Uh, I take Latuda for mood swings. I technically a part of a borderline. Um, later on this week, I'll get into uh, borderline personality disorder a bit more. Um, and I'll explain how it affects me. But no. Um, and I take Trazodone because it's supposed to help me sleep, but I haven't really been able to take that, so. Alright, but I've gone on for long enough. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them, okay? And I'm sorry if I offended anyone. 
But this is Borderline Mom signing off, and I will see you later. Have a nice day.